Where did you get the excess pantyhose? Um, we were able to just <laughs> <laughs> find them Figgy. at any um, grocery store. Oh, so you bought them? Yes, okay. bought them, yes. Okay. I should look through my boxes of, um, of old pantyhose because I'm sure I have enough to make some Of ghosts. course, you can make a whole fleet of ghosts. Okay, so, yes. so I'm gonna, I'll get all those other things from the catalog, but I'm going to make, uh, but we want to show you how to make the sure. ghosts. It's so easy. And it uses very simple okay. items that you have in your home. Two hangers? Two uh, dry clear hangers, uh, okay. pantyhose, and polyfill. So here, we'll take... One, you can take that one, and okay. uh, we'll bend our hanger to create our skeleton okay. for our ghost. And um, you push the ends in toward each other okay. and fold them over like this, and it actually creates the bend oh. of the arm for yeah. you. Oh, so okay. it's your little elbow. Hello. Why is it mine staying? This isn't oh, staying. Let's stay. Oh, oh, oh over. You're over oh, itself, okay. yeah. All right. And then at the neck here, you want to bend it up. Okay. Oh, mine's not staying either. There, there we okay. go. And then you just want to straighten your hook okay. here. And you will put the two together, and this will give you your skeleton frame. And this little Y here at the top, you want to. So, these this aren't staying. Yes. Okay. You, and you'll twist this those way. together to get that. All right, so it goes the wrong way. That's we okay. did it both the same way. Okay. Sure. All right, so that's what you want that's to That's what you get. With. Okay. <laughs> and then we move on to this. We have our pantyhose. Okay. We've filled about 16 inches full of polyfill, and you just thread these right onto the, oh, I see. the skeleton like that and go all the way through the center. There you go. And through the center of the through fill? Through the center of the fill. Okay, so that's just fiber fill? Totally, polyfill. Okay. And your pantyhose, see they bunch up a little bit here, and um, you want to take that little bunch and tie it to secure. You don't feel odd arms. working with pantyhose? No, it's, no? you know, I'm a, I'm a modern man, you know, oh, okay. 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> so then after you've tied that just like that, okay. um, we move on to the head. The head, yes, which we have. Oh, so it's going to be this. Yes, it'll be the top oh. of your pantyhose. Okay. We've created a little neck here with a um, twist tie. Oh, okay. And you have your swap right there. Oh, here's my twist tie. Yes, and um, we tie. This is where the Y at the top becomes important. Okay. Um, watch me here. We're going to tie. But I don't have anything. To oh, I'm just going to use yeah, a swap use out. Yeah, use that one. Okay, so and fill it up. Fill, fill it, it up. up to the top with your polyfill. Okay. Tie across your Y like this. Double knot it and snip off your excess. And then to create the hook, so you can um, These thread are cute. wire. Cute, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. You're gonna bend your uh, the little bit of the hanger down like this, and you can slide a hook through there or a piece of string or whatever. That's how okay. you would anchor it to your tree or <laughs> or inside. We're using yeah. a, a gauze here. Uh, it's Three yards, cut down the center, and we've shredded it. So you, you buy this at craft stores, yes. a hardware store. Exactly. And okay. you want to start by dressing his arms or her arms. It's a she. This is a she. she okay, a her. <laughs> She's wearing her pantyhose. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's a she. And we. Right, do I have to open this up? Oh no 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 no! Oh. You can just oh, slide just like, it right oh, okay. on. And we've we've clipped uh, a little bit here, and just you can shred it yourself, just a couple of feet oh. up. Okay. And we actually cut Fine. the fabric at an angle at the bottom, so it sort of gives this yeah. tapered look to it. Destructive. Excellent. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun, you know, get the, <laughs> the kids, the whole family involved. And then after you dress her arms. I'm going to hang these in all my trees and from, the, you know, all around the gates. Oh, excellent. They'll yeah, look so scare nice. scare the trick-or-treaters. And here, if you want to grab your cheese cloth, yeah. in the center there, Slip that right over the the little hook there. Okay, Excellent. right there. And here's this another one. piece. Same thing. Wonderful. And then this is the fun part because you get to to style her, to dress her, and make her look. And this, your grill cleaner, you know, from the outdoor barbecue, just shred. Yes, those we clothes. use that to distress the yeah. the cheesecloth. You don't want her to to look. Too new, fancy, no. New or bright, yes. And also, if you want to um, add a little age to it, we have some coffee here in a spritzer. Oh, coffee. And, you know, mm. give it a little brown look to or it. Or tea yeah. would or be tea, good. Or tea, same thing. Mm, smells good. It smells good. I think that's my list leftover espresso from breakfast. Oh, well, we took what was lying around, you know. Uh. <laughs> Well, that is a very good, and don't even tie the head or anything. Just let it look sure, like right. very and, and you can pose the arms. Ghostly. 